Hello, welcome to the Volos channel and I'm very happy to present you my first Arduino clone board. Most of my projects are based on 80 Mega 328 microcontroller, but I always uh, needed external programmer or another Arduino to program it. This time I decided to add USB, USB support to this board. This board can uh, be easily programmed uh, as any other Arduino board using USB cable and Arduino IDE. So this is basically another Arduino clone with this 7 segment display and many push buttons. In this video I will show you all functionalities of this board, show you some, some sketches and explain where you can get it. But uh, before we start, let's hear this amazing performance of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. If you don't know where to order your custom PCBs, I recommend PCB Way service. Their products are great quality and prices are great. You will get first order for free. You will need to pay only shipping. Check link links in the description of this video so you can check their awesome website. Before we start, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying hard to make quality contact for all makers. Feel free to check my channel later. But now let's talk about project. Yes, this board is Arduino calculator. It have this display to show numbers and all needed push buttons like but numbers and mathematical operations. Seven segment display are very hard to record with camera so I will add this piece of plastic. Now we can see much better. This is calculator sketch. It have all basic mathematical operations. For example 52 plus 6 is 58 or 78 divided by 10 is 7.8. Yes, now it's used as calculator, but it can be used for so many things. I added additional input, input or output pins so I can connect additional sensor or modules. Couple of minutes ago you saw me playing music. I connected little speaker to pin 10 and with this sketch I can play C major scale. On display I can see which note is played. Here I connected potentiometer so I can see analog value from pin A0. Or this light sensor. I can also use buzzer. This is countdown sketch if I want to make fake bomb or something. Seven segment display can also show a couple of letters so this board is saying hello. This board is great for any project where you need to dial some number or you need to display some simple value. For example, it can be used for password, input door or something similar. I'm planning to sell a couple of these boards on my Tindy page. Last month I started with Tindy. This universal PCB was my first Tindy product and I managed to sell lots of them. These boards are great for many small electronic projects 
project looks good and using this board I can make something much faster than using perf board. Check them also. I'm selling pack of 5 universal PCB and links will be in description. If you are interested in buying this board on my Tindy, please watch this video till the end to understand whole board. Okay, parts. This board is based on ATmega328 microcontroller. Same microcontroller is used on Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano and many others. Here is CH340. It is USB to serial integrated circle. This IC needs additional driver. Many cheap Arduino uh, clones from internet uh, are uh, using this chip so I believe you are very familiar with it. If you weren't there is plenty tutorial how to install driver for this IC. Here is six digit seven segment display. It is tiny. I made video about it some time ago so you can find more information there. It is also pretty expensive because it is not common component. Link of video is in description. Here is MAX7219. It is driver for 7 segment display. It uh, needs LED display library. There is uh, 16 push buttons. Each number button is connected to same pin on Arduino. So this button 6 is connected to pin 6 on Arduino. Other buttons have marks so you will know where are they connected. Each button is connected directly to ground so you will need to use internal pull up at the beginning of sketch. When button is not pressed the digital read will return 1 and if button is pressed it will return 0. Here are additional input output pins. Here is A0 pin, here is pin 10, and here are pins 11, 12, and 13. And reset. I use them to upload bootloader to board. If you are planning to use these pins as output, keep in mind that pressing these buttons is, buttons is not a great idea. If pin is set as high, Pressing button will short it to the ground and destroy pin or whole microcontroller. I recommend to use pin 10 and pin A0 for external modules or sensors. If you are using pins 11, 12 and 13 output, uh, as output, it is a good idea to remove, remove these buttons. Here is switch and here is connector for external battery or power. Don't use power supply higher than 5.5 volts. This IC, uh, this microcontroller can be powered from 2.5 volts to 5.5 volts. When programming this board uh, using Arduino IDE, you will need to select port and select Arduino Uno because this board have Arduino Uno bootloader. So let's see what you will get if you buy this product on Tindy. You will get this board of course, the battery case for two AAA battery, and you will get additional connector for power. And of course this small micro USB cable. Each board will have calcula calculator sketch on it, but you can download other sketches also. There will be download link for a music player sketch and for counter sketch. Also in the description I will put links for everything other, other that you need. Uh, for driver for USB to serial IC and for a library of, for uh, this display driver chip. Also on back of the board you can find pins that are used for connecting this uh, display driver chip. In the description I will also put other documentation so you can check it. 
that's it hope you like this board don't forget to subscribe while you are listening this cool computer music